Django V. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's me right there. <clears throat> All right, you see this beautiful sign and tangle, and then what you're gonna do is launch the client. Hopefully, I uh, don't forget my password. <laughs> Password that you uh, created. Once you log in, it will do rack loading. The last time I remember, we did uh, a wire web filter and uh, wires protection. Now, here's the important part you gotta see if it's working. It says zero zero. What we're gonna do first, we're gonna check our network that both of our Ethernet cards are um, loaded. So let's do networking. And just wait and see right here all the IP address and everything is there check for everything network interface so when you click on interface you should see both of the Ethernet ETO both of them should be green I mean uh, your network setting is correct go back to configuration I'll just close this alright just check if you have an internet connection so I see that I have an internet connection here let's see if I have a say new window check if your system has internet connection alright google dot com Yes, so your entangle machine is getting internet, which is a good thing. Now, right here is the. So let's do the setting. Let me see if I can control all these computers from here now. So we'll do setting. And let's see if you want to block anything. Uh, edit site. Or let's just do edit by categories. So automatically they have blocked pornography and proxy site at all in sexual services. So let's see. Let's check if it's gonna work on the computers over here. So now these are the lab computers, these are your employees, these are your students who are gonna be using internet. Oops, this computer is not on. I come to this computer.
So turn on the computer. Oh, this, this one is already on. So this is a student. We're gonna log in. First check if they have a uh, internet in there. Let's see. Now you can see that they're getting internet, so that's a good thing. That means your entangle box is working because if it wasn't, if they don't get internet, that means you have did something wrong. Your ethernet card did not, um, they didn't detect ethernet card external or internal. You need to fix that first. You need to fix your configuration for network so that they can get internet. So they can, you can see they can go to Google, which means that they can. Now what? We have two filters in there. One is a wires fil uh, filter and one is a web filter. So let's see if the wires protection is going to work or not. In the Google, you'll see, uh, let's say, uh, test wires. Okay. Now, this is e -core is the the testing and the anti testing or anti malware test file. So let's see if our Entangle can do anything about this. We'll just go down, and here's the, here are the files that you want to test now. Let's see, we'll pick one. Uh, we're gonna pick the zip file. Now I already have uh, in protection in there, so a lot, um, I'm gonna check if I can disable this. Well, let me just check it. This way. okay? So you can see that this is blocked by Entangle, not by a wires protection, even. Even before it, it didn't even my orange edition even didn't even detect it. Would, it didn't even let it download, so it automatically blocked it. And many of your wires protections are gonna uh, wires uh, all the wires and and anything malware will be blocked from this area. It won't even let it come to this area. So you can see, please contact your system administrator now. I think that's really cool because you don't need a wires protection in there. Um, yeah, I will just put a lightweight if, if if you're using McAfee or something like that. Just put it there. But this is just another protection. I mean, what else? I mean, it's just it's just nice. Um, let's check another one, the text one over here. So this one didn't help, but it won. Let's see if SSS enable protocol HTTPS. Let's check this one. Now this one it didn't detect, so this one detected. You can see that. So you can see it can detect and how uh, the it was just a live test, and now we find out that it won't do, it won't put, it won't detect the the sec using the secure SSL enable protocol HTTPS, but it will protect HTTP which is most likely the wires are going to come from HTTP not from HTTPS so because they are more secure uh, I would definitely recommend having one good wires protection on your computer and having that is just a com combination of these two are going to work together now let's check the the web filter uh, if we can go to any porn sites I hope we don't show any porn in here but We'll check Google and write porn. All right, so the first site is this one. Ah, uh, let's just click on it. Hopefully, it will work. All right, there you go. The site blocked because of the inappropriate content. Da 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 da. And this and all of these other sites are gonna be the same thing. You click on this one, it won't let it go. So you can see the web filter is working I mean that's it from Untangle my main idea was to show you that how you can control uh, your system from one box and this is the box that is controlling everything and these are your clients your students your, a home anyone so thank you for watching the next video will be about how to use a master computer, a teacher's computer, or a parent computer, or an IT support computer to control and weave live screen and uh, kind of a management system. So you can block the screens, 
you can do uh, get attention of students so you can lock the screens you can see them what they're doing take snapshots and everything next video will be about that and I'll show you how to control all the stu all the computers from this computer stay tuned thank you so much for watching